Hey guys, welcome to our first episode of Kit Clusters Institute of Technology. Maybe a little ripoff from MIT, but in today's episode, we are going to be making an automated furnace refueling system that only refuels the fuel that goes into your furnace so that you guys can cook up all your nice items. So let's build it and enjoy. So guys, let's build this thing. So if we go and start right here with the floor that we're going to be putting everything on, on our bottom layer, we need to go four blocks up and then place the furnaces on the fourth, on top of the fourth block up indicated by these green blocks. So let's just take those away. So we're going to start off by building this little top layer here first that goes with the furnace, the furni. So if we go ahead and we get our hopper. <laughs> If we get our hopper out here, we put them back here facing into the back of the furni. Then we have to expand out past here just a tad bit. So we need to end up putting a block right here, or depending on which way you want to go out with your system. Our system is going to come out right over on this side. So we put a block there, block there, and then we need a block to bounce it back off, the mine cart back off of. So let's put one here. This one we want to be a redstone block, so it automatically comes off right away. There we go. Powered rail goes right there, and then these are all going to be regular railings, and this one's going to be a power rail, like so. So now, if we start with this bottom layer, we need to put a block right here, right here, there, and there. That might look a little weird, but you'll see what it ends up doing here. We have to put all redstone on, on all of these and connect them. We take it, this block out, put a sticky piston there. Put a block there to be able to transfer the redstone signal through, and then a repeater pulling the signal out. So one, two, three, four. Uh, three or four will work. One and two will not because of the amount of ticks that this thing goes through. Then we need to have a redstone dust right there. Block going up, redstone dust, and then this redstone dust is going to go into a block right here that has a torch right there that also has a block on top of that torch and then a uh, redstone torch on that side right here so as you guys can see that redstone torch then is right beneath this powered rail so that whenever let's just show you guys real quick whenever uh this gets activated we should be able to nope we're not gonna be able to do that i was gonna say once this gets activated right it powers that on so that's what we want so again four ticks. So let's go ahead and start the next layer. So we're going to need to put a row of blocks above here. Put some repeat or some comparators down so that we can pull the signals, the amount of items out of here. See check to see if there's any items. If there's an item, a signal is going to come out. If there's not an item, there's going to be no signal. Then we need nope, not subtraction mode, then we need block, block, block and block. Now to every other one, we want to have a repeater going out of because we don't want our redstone signals getting mixed up. So we want redstone there and there. Now this is going to depend on how you oriented these down here. If you oriented these close blocks right there, that's where you want these ones to go. So as you guys can see, there's the redstone. And then if, if it's these farther ones back, you just put the repeat, another block out, another block out, repeater, or redstone dust. And there we have it. So now as you can see, that is the completed design minus the hopper minecart which we will put down right now so there's the hopper minecart so that's the whole system one thing i forgot to mention this is scalable so you can have four five six seven eight nine ten and you probably even can go up to if you go up high enough but i don't know if it would work necessarily if you just had another row of furni on top of this exactly that won't work but if you had Obviously, you can just expand this out, but make sure if you were to expand this out to five, six, seven, eight, or whatnot, you would also have to make sure you cascade these like so. But you could keep the same logic behind it, but it would just have to be a little, um, little bit different. So let's explain this thing a little bit now and see what's actually going on here. So if we can see, I put items in each of these hoppers. One, two, three, four. All four of them have a little bit of coal in them. So right now, all of these are sending out redstone signals, which these are um, taking off the effect of the 
redstone torch. They're unpowering the redstone torch. So that's known as a not gate, right? It's negating the redstone torch because of this redstone signal on top of it. So once this is, once those are all deactivated, this line down here is all unactive too, which means this is unactive. This is active, me making that unactive because another not gate. And then this powered rail being unpowered. So what we want is the reason these are cascaded like so is if we didn't have those cascaded, then like so. Let's see if we can get this, right? So like so, just because, let's take the items out of here, right? Just because that one ran out of items doesn't mean that any of these other ones ran out of items. So let's, let's fill this one up with more coal, right? So this one right here has no items in it, but this one is causing its redstone signal to go over there and unpower that, which that is not what we want. We want these to all be separate. So that's why we have these pistons here is now that one, see how that one's deactivated, which means that this redstone torch is going to be on. It's going to send a pulse through down here and it's going to send off this mine card. So let's watch that again. Let's put some items. Let's take some of those out. Let's put some items in here so that it can fill the, fill it up. There we go. Now it runs out of items in the hopper, so it's going to send it, go. It's going to keep, the way it is right now, it, it powers that because the speed, it sends, it sends off two items, so it sends, or puts one down and then puts one back, and then by the time it gets over there, it reactivates that rail. Now if you expand this, you might have to make the, extend this signal down here to wait a little bit longer because of that fact. Um, so now this one should be filled back up. Nope. Or we ran out of, we must ran out of coal. Ran out of coal. So that's the system in a nutshell. It all explained. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. Dream big.